Top 20 Defining Fashion Trends of the 2000s. Number 20. Crocs. You know you committed sin if you owned a pair of Crocs. These shoes were a mix of clogs and Swiss cheese. While we can't deny how comfy they are, who could have predicted how big these would get? If you owned a pair, you either loved them and proudly wore them everywhere, or you secretly bought a pair online to see what the fuss was all about, but wouldn't be caught dead in public wearing them. Number 19. Big Chains and Military Dog Tags Plain but shiny, ornamented chains was a classic fashion accessory worn by many rappers in the early 2000s to symbolize wealth and many men took to sporting chains as a fashion statement. Actual military dog tags list the person's name and medical information, but wearing personalized dog tags became a flashy and fast-growing trend. While there is a bit of a barrier for men to get over wearing any jewelry, decorated in this type of bling was mid-length and adorned with jewels and worn over big shirts, but we'll get more into that later. Number 18. Emo Grunge Although the culture origin started in the 1980s, it wasn't until the early 2000s that emo and emo grunge broke into the mainstream. This included wearing black, fitted shirts, cuffed jeans, and mainly recognized for its unique hairstyles. Popular looks included big, poofy hair with bright colors like blue, pink, or blonde. Hair is also cut into choppy layers, accompanied with side-swept bangs and dark makeup for both boys and girls. Emo grunge is a stereotype associated with being emotional, introverted, and angst. Number 17. Exposed Thongs Also known as the whale tail, exposed thongs became a common trend among celebrities like Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera that gave way to paparazzi to snap photos left and right. The crazy lace thong craze was on the rise in the early 2000s and reached its peak when R&B singer Cisco released the thong song. The trend became a subject of debate after it criticized that it sexualized young women and that it was selling sex to young girls. After a few years, this trend started to die off as it was received with much backlash and was viewed as indecent and trashy. Number 16. Fat Farm Shoes and Baby Fat Fashion Although Fat Farm Shoes were released in the early 90s, they didn't become mainstream until around 2002 to 2003. They came in an assortment of colors, and wearing these added a little swag to your outfit. They became popularized thanks to fashion mogul Russell Simmons, and him and his wife also ran a clothing line called Baby Fat that was strictly a women's line, and the urbanized fashion wear quickly spread everywhere. Number 15. Echo, Sean John, and Rockaware Throughout the 2000s, if a notable rapper was hot in the game, then you can definitely bet that he has his name linked to a brand. Not only was this a creative way to generate business, but it helped boost sales of albums which in turn made them more money. Even though most of these brands were overpriced, these brands were the hottest thing out on the market at the time, so the price didn't matter. While other rapper clothing lines evolved into successful businesses like Kanye West's brand and Yeezy's, most of the brands have decreased in production. Number 14. Streaky hair highlights and frosted tips. Your friend had them, your aunt had them, your favorite boy band had them. Heck, you had them. The classic chunky highlight look was sported by many celebrities that include Christina Aguilera, Kelly Clarkson, and all of the members of NSYNC. Hair is usually bleached to achieve the look, and the highlights were found in many colors like blonde, red, and even pink. Frosted hair tips started in the late 90s and made its way in the early 2000s, and the hairstyle was even parodied in season 5 of the show Chuck. In fact, the look was so popular that many companies sold temporary highlight sprays to achieve the look. Number 13. Skater Chic While skateboarding is often associated with a guy sport, many females started rocking skater chic when Avril Lavigne made her way into the music industry. Besides wearing ties for casual wear, brands like Vans and Zoomies began to become a hit among teens. Number 12. Big-faced plastic watches Although it is considered cheap and tacky now, in the early 2000s, big-faced G-Shock or Timex watches were the ultimate arm candy. They were affordable, lightweight, and fun to wear. They were in such high demand that it became available in a wide range of colors and even became a collector's item for some people. Number 11. Shiny Bubble Jackets with Fur Unless you're an avid snowboarder, this fashion item shouldn't be in your possession. But in the early 2000s, bubble jackets with fur around the hood was a fashion favorite during cold weather. With top name brands like Sean John and Apple Bottoms dishing these out on shelves, many people were flocking to the stores to get their hands on one. Number 10. Preppy Wear 
Hollister, Abercrombie and Fitch, American Eagle, and J. Crew were brands that made anyone look like they hailed from Southern California and spent every day lounging at the beach and went to an Ivy League school. This whole look was seen as a cut and dry image, and despite its high prices, many people were willing to dish out money to wear a plain t shirt with the Little Bird logo on the side. Number 9. Airbrushed Graphic Tees Airbrushed graphic tees were on the rise from 2003 to 2005. It either had your name on it and a stencil drawing of your favorite fictional character, or it shows deceased celebrities with a date with the words and loving memory on top. The style became such a huge hit that you'd spot several booths at the mall or county fair offering you an airbrushed tee for only $19.95. Number 8. Baggy Pants with Oversized Shirts who could forget when pants were super baggy and sagged past the waistline and worn with a big shirt that looked two sizes too big? This hip-hop fashion craze was imminent among many hip-hop artists, and even though we're thankful now that fashion trend died off a long time ago, we still can't help but cringe when we think about it. Number 7. Live Strong Bands from 2004 to 2005, Livestrong bracelets were worn by many teens but were unaware of its actual origin. Back in 1997, Lance Armstrong launched the Charity Foundation, but it wasn't until his yellow bracelet released that thousands of youngsters sported it as a fashion item. Throughout a partnership with Nike, over 50 million of the bands were sold worldwide to support cancer research. Number 6. Juicy Couture Tracksuits you could bet that every girl owned a Juicy Couture tracksuit and many celebrities like Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton were spotted wearing velour tracksuits. Paparazzi had no issues capturing photos of the word juicy and rhinestones written across their butt. Even though the style has since faded, it is believed that these tracksuits might be making a comeback. Fashion always seems to come full circle, so it'll be interesting to see if these become a fashion favorite again. Number 5. Popped Collar Polos Sporting a popped collar has forever soured our taste for it as we now link it to douchebaggery and conceitedness. It was once a hit among pop culture and has even been bolstered by many retailers as a gimmick to sell their brands. While popping your collar is no longer seen outside of the Jersey Shore house, let's leave this fashion trend in the sports department, where popping your collar is acceptable when playing golf or tennis. Number 4. Shutter Shades these slanted glasses have been around longer than you think, but recently made a comeback in the early 2000s after it was worn by many musical artists. While shutter shades do not function as real glasses, since it does not shield the eyes from the sun, it's mostly worn for fun or entertainment. Number 3. Ed Hardy, True Religion, and Von Dutch Jerk alert! Anyone spotted wearing these brands could bet that person was a little stuck up and full of themselves. Bejeweled tight t-shirts accompanied with flared jeans was a fashion hit wear among jocks and electro brothers and made themselves out to be aggressive, cool, and superior. Aside from giving people a street edge, it has since started fading due to its negative association. But these companies are rumored to be making a comeback. Number 2. Uggs Dating back all the way to 2001, Ugg boots have become a must-have for every girl's wardrobe. The growing demand for Uggs made its manufacturers all the way in Australia revamp its style with various colors. Now you can get the boots in any color, and whether it's casual or party wear, these boots are worn for any occasion. Number 1. Crop Tops with Jean Miniskirts for every girl wearing a halter top with a jean miniskirt was the ultimate outfit. Granted that your parents probably wouldn't let you leave the house looking that way, but you knew you looked fabulous. Crop tops were usually mid-length and exposed your stomach, and the miniskirt was too many that you had to be careful bending over. Plus, you and your friends all had to match and wore similar outfits going to the mall or park. Basically, any girl had her fair share of miniskirts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.